Hello everybody, welcome to your sneak peek for February monthlies. This is These are our decks that we're going to be using for our monthlies. They've all been prepared. As to which decks I use, that will depend upon the nine card spread that comes out for each sign. And um, I will very likely be utilizing the, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice a little, the eight coin tattoo tarot, my favorite one. As y'all know, that's my go-to deck that I absolutely, positively adore. Um, in the extendeds, I may be using the Tarot of Dreams for clarifications. Golden, the Golden Universal, and the Ri Radiant Rider Weight deck. Um, all signs will receive a Romance Angels card, and then it will vary which Oracle card is used. This is the Sacred Traveler deck. Each sign will get a postcard from Spirit. Then we have our Unicorn deck, the new one that we just added. Absolutely really really enjoy the imagery on that deck and then we have mystical wisdom oracle deck additionally you guys know that sometimes I like to do clarifications with my mini decks so we've got the Celtic tarot and the Rider Waite mini so those are the decks that have been prepared for the February readings I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move these aside and we're gonna do a nine card spread for Friday just so you can see what the nine card spread looks like and the extended readings per sign are going to vary. I will determine the content of the extended based upon the nine card spread that we receive. Keep in mind that our monthlies are not always love readings. I know we had moved to love readings since that has been the majority request, but our, our monthlies are whatever, whatever spirit gives me for you could be in any area of your life, so keep that in mind. All right, let's get started. This reading for Friday, February 1st, will be for any sign if you resonate with it. Please keep in mind that because it is a general reading, not everything is going to resonate with you. If you want something more specific to your individual circumstances, please visit my website, empressmoontarot.com, for information on personal readings. There's also a link down below in the description box. Welcome to all my old and new subscribers. If you're new to my channel and you're watch well, you're watching my video, you discover that you like my style and you want to keep up with me, click the little subscribe button down below. All right, let's see what we have. Thank you to all of you who have been ordering personal readings and who have been ordering extended readings and those of you that have donated to the channel also. I truly appreciate you all. And I, I adore your comments, everyone. Please keep commenting, liking, and sharing these videos. I truly appreciate it. All right. The energy feels a little choppy. When we do the nine card spread, I split the deck instead of take jumper cards. We have the six of swords, the three of wands, the king of wands, the nine of wands, Make sure you're going to be able to see all these cards here. The Two of Swords is central to your reading for Friday. Then we have the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, the Three of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Our overall energy is the Tower which appears to be causing some mental struggles. 
<clears throat> okay. Now let me just explain to you how I do a nine card reading because all readers are a little bit different and you can have a spread that looks exactly the same and, and people read it in different ways because they are focusing their energy on receiving information in a specific way when they do the, the card spread. For me, this row is the past. That could, oddly enough, be this morning, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, but this is the past. This row represents the present time for me, and this row represents the future. Now the future could be tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Um, we really, we are not given a specific time frame. The other thing to keep in mind is that although I am doing this reading for February 1st, it can apply to you at the moment that you are watching the video. Whether you're watching the video in April, whether you're watching the, the video, you know, February 3rd, it, it still could apply to you at that precise moment that you are drawn to the video. Not everything that I read will represent your specific life, so don't try to force it to. So those are my three columns. I also read a cross. I read in a diagonal. And I read in a diamond surrounding our central card. Now, our central card and our overall energy for me as a reader go together very strongly. So I see here that there has been something unexpected that has occurred in your life. Um, the unexpected thing See if I can gauge which area of your life we're looking at here. I feel like for whoever this applies to, there's a desire to move in a specific direction in your life. Um, I feel like it may have to do with a work situation, an actual move to a new location or potentially a project that you might be working on as well. So something has happened with regards to, j just stop and think for a moment, what has been on your mind lately the most? And that may be what this applies to. If we discover as I'm reading the reading, you start to recognize bits and pieces relate to your life. Now the Two of Swords, is an overall energy of guarding yourself. Refusing to see a situation, refusing to open yourself up to moving forward because this person is sitting still. There's no movement. The clouds are passing by behind her. We have the moon, which brings a little bit of confusion and anxiety, not really being able to see what's going on in your future. I feel like something happened while you've been waiting for something to come about in your life, that has stopped that forward movement. And it has caused a lot of mental heartache and grief associated with this. Um, you may be, since we do have the Eight of Swords immediately after the Tower, you may be looking at it from a perspective that is um, somewhat unrealistic and of your own making. And I say that in the most loving way possible, my dear viewers. Um, you know, it's this kind of energy we are all prone to getting into where we, we kind of mull things over in our mind and we're unable to kind of get past it. Well, with the tower, when an unexpected event comes, it's almost as if everything you worked for, everything that you put hard work into suddenly doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you kind of, it, it's almost like you've put all that work into to making a project come to a point of completion at your work let's say and all of a sudden your boss says you know we're scrapping this project all together I, I don't like the way your team has handled this boom I'm taking it off your plate and I'm giving it to somebody else it's that kind of energy where all of a sudden you're like oh my gosh I put in hours and hours and hours and hours and hours into this which I see with the nine of wands here and now all of a sudden boom something happens and everything that you saw 
this particular circumstance as no longer exists in the same way. Sometimes it goes completely out of your life and you have to start over. Other times it's, it makes you go back to the drawing bar board with square one and have to, have to restart. Um, if this is a foundation, if for you, now I sit, like I said, the monthlies are whatever we get. We're not making a focus here on love relationships. And quite frankly, I don't see a focus on love relationships in here, even though we have this Ace of, Ace of Cups, and I'll explain why when we get to it. But I'm seeing a focus on other areas of your life. But if you're equating it to that and you feel like something has happened here, it may be that a faulty foundation within your relationship has come crumbling down and it's time to rebuild or it's time to move on if um, you've recently broken up with somebody. But I feel like this is in other areas of your life. With the Two of Swords, there's a sense that she is guarding her heart here. But not only is she guarding her heart, it, it's like, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to see anything. I just plain don't want to deal with this. It's a lack of trust. And it's a, this lack of trust extends throughout our reading here. It's something that you, if you, if you resonate with this by the time I'm finished, if you resonate with this, you need to move outside of this this energy of not allowing yourself to be vulnerable and not allowing yourself to trust. So let's take a look at our past row. In the past, we had you moving away from something. Um, it's as if you, you felt like you were moving towards something that was going to be better. Maybe you really didn't know where you were going exactly. This could either be the sun rising or the, or the sun setting. But the, the depiction of this card is, is leaving all the mental struggles, all the hurdles, all the difficulties that you've dealt with in your life behind so that you could move forward towards something better. I feel like for some of you this was a new job. For some of you this was preparing for a move to a new city. Or you may have actually moved to a new city. You know, I, I feel um, for uh, one or two of you that you may have had some um, pushback from family and friends regarding a decision that you made um, to move forward in some area of your life, and um, you ran into some opposition along the way, and that was also something that you had to leave behind. That's not for everybody, but... This is a sense of strength and a sense of peace here with the Six of Swords. In a sense of wonderment, I feel. Real excitement about moving, moving towards something new. But we see here with this Nine of Wands energy that that movement towards the future has been um, met with a lot of, a lot of hardships. The Nine of Wands is perseverance, not giving up. If you started a new business, this is you continually putting effort into it. If you started a new job, same thing. If there was a project or a creative work that you've had to start, I feel like it was a lot more work than you intended it to be. You may have, like I said, you may have dealt with um, some opposition and that may have been uh, very difficult for you to overcome too. But the Nine of Wands very much is an overcomer energy. This is not a victim mentality. This is somebody who's been through the ringer and they keep going. Somebody who, who's, who's met with with something time and time again, but it doesn't stop them. They have a vision and their their intent is to achieve something. And with it being a nine of wands, they're coming close to the completion of that, where the burdens will no longer, they'll be able to release some of those burdens. We also have the emperor, and emperor energy. I feel like your past energy was very, very strong. Very strong. Your current energy 
has taken a hit, and we'll get to that, but your past energy was very strong. Um, you came out of the gate in some area of your life with enthusiasm and, you know, perseverance and a great desire to achieve something. And with the emperor energy that's taking control of your life, it's not letting anybody walk on you. And like I said, I felt like you had dealt with some opposition, but the emperor says, I'm sorry, I'm not taking what, you, what you're throwing at me because I don't need it. And quite frankly, it doesn't serve me. Uh, and you just move forward regardless. You don't allow people to walk on you. You don't allow people to take you for granted. You charge forward boldly. The emperor can sometimes be very law and order focused, so sometimes there's, you know, this sense that everything has to be done in a specific way, but that's not really what I'm feeling um, here for you. I'm feeling as if you had decided, I'm taking control of a situation, I am putting my foot down, I'm not going to let other people stop me, I'm going to keep going because I'm almost there, I'm almost to that wonderful place that I want to be at, so I'm just going to keep going. But in our present circumstances we see that you're still waiting you're still waiting for that forward movement you've put in all this work you've put in all the work that we see here right you've put in all that work and with the three of wands you're waiting to see a return on all that work that you've put in in the distance we see the light coming over the hillside there and it's almost like you know the sun is rising it's you seeing in your mind's eye that the prize is up ahead, your reward is up ahead. Um, the, the completion of whatever it is that you started here is up ahead. It's, it's coming, it's on its way. It's, it's having the faith of something you don't really see because here's this person standing here waiting Waiting, they say with this card, you know, waiting for your ships to come in. This person is waiting to see that return on, on everything that they have done, on all the hard work they put in. They can't see it yet, but they believe it. They believe it down in their core, down in their soul. But then we have this tower moment, something unexpected that comes along. Makes you feel guarded. It makes you feel like, you failed in some way with the three of swords either you've failed or somebody has failed you I feel like y y there's more of a sense that somebody has failed you because of whatever this um, surprise event occurred and you feel defeated by it which is why you remain guarded you feel defeated because the future you had worked so hard for that you had been expecting is not here. It's not, the timing didn't occur right. There's been some sort of obstacle. There's been an obstacle. But right now you won't even, you won't even open up your eyes to find the solution to the obstacle. Or you may have just started to. It may have recently, you know, not been paying attention to that. Going forward, you're going to get the confidence back again. The King of Wands is extremely confident, very, very bold, very charismatic. Very charismatic, enthusiastic, really good at uniting people. All the people who didn't believe in you before and that were giving you a hard time, in the future, they're going to see that you actually do achieve what you're trying to achieve. And through your words, your encouragement, you are going to unite the people who once did not believe in you. They're going to be admiring your confidence, admiring your boldness, admiring your perseverance. You're going to come to a point where that which you were awaiting to see happen in your life brings you tremendous emotional fulfillment as well with the Ace of Cups. You'll be able to, to put aside this feeling of 
mistrust and, and you know, feeling very vulnerable and open yourself up to a positive energy that's very emotionally fulfilling. You're going to be very excited about the forward movement. The situation that you dealt with, how it had caused such a tremendous state of discouragement here with the Three of Swords, is going, this is necessary for you to go through in order to bring you a new idea, a new direction, a new dream, a, a new thought on how to make your dream a reality. The Ace of Wands is a creative new beginning, creative new idea. And this new idea is going to bring you past these mental struggles towards that future you are trying to create. The direction you were going in before may also help enable you to come up with the new plan. Like I said, you're going to get your boldness back with the Emperor and the King of Wands at opposing corners. You're going to get the boldness back and be able to get outside of this mistrusting energy. Your perseverance is going to turn to joy when you're able to get to the point where this future does become clear. And like I said, you know, if we if we look at our diamond, okay, let's look at our diamond. So we're blocked off, not wanting to see anything, feeling internally just like beaten down. This is a victim mentality, you know, I hate to say that, but it's it's okay for you to be in that temporarily because you move back. You move backward to this overcomer energy as soon as you've processed everything that you're struggling with. And then you go back towards this period of waiting because you know your future that you believed in is still possible and when it arrives you have that emotional fulfillment. This is quite beautiful actually. Quite beautiful. Hope I didn't lose anybody along the way. Alright, let's see. I'm going to take a sacred traveler. So I'm going to take two sacred travelers for each sign there will be two oracle cards but I feel a sense literally of traveling um, I feel somebody may have been moving and this may have been related to a move some of you may have received a new job recently started a new business started a new project things of that nature is what I feel like this equates to bottom one. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. The advice card that we often get with the tower, which is our overarching ener energy of the whole reading, the, the advice that we get with the tower is not to give in to the fear of the tower, which is what's occurring here, but to have an attitude of gratitude. Be grateful for the things that you do have. Gratitude can change your attitude on everything and help you to move from this energy towards something much much more productive and positive. It says, through gratitude, joy expands. So be, be grateful for the little things that you have in your life, as well as the large things. And this is really important for whomever resonated with this particular reading. Ascending the mountain, keep going forward. Keep going forward. Continue to be the overcomer. Continue to put in the hard work because that future exists. It's just not in, it's not in your timing, it's in divine timing. And that's very hard to, it's a very hard concept to remain hopeful in. But 
this is saying keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up. You're not that far away. Don't give up. Keep going. All right, y'all, that was just a sneak peek. Um, I'm going to be working on the readings, like I said, through the rest of today and into tomorrow, too. And um, I will have them uploaded for you as quickly as I can. For those of you that are going to want an extended from um, the reading, there will always be a link in the description box as well as a link to personal readings and the cards that I use. So have a beautiful day. See you soon.